Welcome, and thank you for tuning in to another episode with Everyday Stuff 21. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to and review a fragrance, fabulous fragrance known as The Dreamer by Versace, the original edition from 1996. But before I get started with this discussion, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel, tapping the like button, and leaving a comment on this discussion. Also tap the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos like this debut. I also want to add that within this discussion, this is all of my own opinion, and it has not been influenced by anyone else, and it may match yours, and it may not. With all that being said, let's get started. So this right here is something I'm truly excited to share with you because I really feel that this fragrance is truly dope. So let me show you the box really quick. Here's the box and as you can see, this box to me is fire. It looks like a dreamer's land. It looks like the nighttime sky and it is really, really dope to me. And now it's time for me to show you the bottle. Here's the bottle. As you can see, you have the, the crest on the front, which is really dope. And on the top, the atomizer is on the top. It's something that you just push down. It's not a top where you take off. And this is really dope. This is a men's designer fragrance. That is, this is a 100 ml bottle and it's an eau de toilette concentration. This guy's is super dope and I have a story to tell you about this really quick. So long ago, when I first learned of this in the late 90s, I'm not sure if it was 96 or after, but it was close to it. I was in Macy's or Nordstrom's trying to find a new fragrance, compliment getter, all of that good stuff. And I was looking around, looking around, and some guy came to me and we had a small chat and he said, go try Versace Dreamer out. It is the best thing in the store. And I was like, it can't be that good. Thinking about the other things that I was interested in, like you had your eternity, your obsession, and all these other fragrances that were the ones at the time. So I went over there and I smelled this and it was literally love at first sniff. I was like, I must have it. Then the lady told me what it cost. And at that time, I think it was like $95. It's not that the same price now, but at that time it was 95. And I was like, I don't know if I could come up with that. So I thought about it for a little while, not that day, but later on I came back. And man, let me tell you guys, this is a compliment monster. Now mind you, this is from 96. They have a different formulation that came out in the early 2000s that is created slightly different than this. And I don't know, you have to give it a try to see how you feel about it. But this guys is really, really good. And I'm gonna give it a spray so we can get that natural scent. And as you see, the atomizer is really big. It covers a lot of space. And let's give it a smell. Oh man, guys, this right here, I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what you need to do, but you need to have this in your collection. This is heat. This is fire right here. I'm talking about, you want compliments, you want people to recognize you, this is it. I'm talking about, this is, a, this is great for all year long far as I'm concerned, winter, fall, spring, summer, all year long. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I will swim in this stuff, man. I mean, I probably will offend some people, but it's okay, because I like it. This is fire. This is one of those fragrances that I hold on to. Like, I preserve it, I want it to last. To the point that maybe a month or two later, I went out, well, no, no, I take that back. Maybe a year or two later, I went out and bought another bottle because nothing in my collection at the time was even close to how good this smells. And let me tell you, every single time I've worn this out, I've definitely received several compliments. Now, most of the time when I wear this, I wear it 
when I am going out like on a date or even out just to hang out with friends. So I really, I don't really associate this personally with like a work scent or anything like that. This is definitely you trying to go out, you're trying to have a great time, you're trying to impress, you're trying to grab some attention, garner some looks, whatever it is, this is the one. Man, this is so, so good. This is so good, so good. So I'm getting ready to get and tell you what the notes are from this original edition. So the scent notes are lavender at the top, sage, mandarin, orange. Then when you get to the heart note, middle notes, you'll have tobacco, rose, carnation, geranium. And in the base notes, you're gonna have tonka beans, fir, vetiver, cedar. So guys, with all that being said, it's the sweetness combined with the tobacco and man, it is just amazing to me. Again, unless there's something in here that you just do not like in terms of a scent note, I think it's gonna be an instant like or love for anyone who can find it. This, this version may not be so easy to find, but if you can find it, check it out. With all that being said, guys, for me, this is a nine, nine and a half out of 10 all day long. Thank you for allowing me to bend your ears and fill your eyes with substance. If you have not yet so, tap the like button, leave a comment on this discussion, and subscribe to my channel. Until later on, peace and blessings.